Welcome to TLDW. Today we tell you all about Mediacorp's saucy English drama, The Last Madame, Sisters of the Night. Sisters of the Night is a prequel to the 2019 hit The Last Madame. This time round, the drama is set in the 1920s Malaya, under British colonial rule. We follow Nozomi, a young Japanese girl forced into prostitution but becomes a Japanese spy. Nozomi and the rest of the girls work at Sakura number no. 3. I don't know what happened to the other two. Dad joke! On this day, a handsome kimono tailor named Daisuke visits. All them girls swarm over him. He's here to do a fitting for Hidemi, an undercover agent within the brothel. Her job? Gather info from thirsty British officers and pass it to Daisuke. Today is going to get saucy because there's a ship horn which only means one thing for Mama-san Okasan. It's going to be raining drunk British sailors and also cha-ching! But a worried Hidemi tells Nozomi, Girl, be safe and hide! The naughty night begins, last overflowing with each visiting sailor. But not before Okasan checks all their PPs for STDs. Even in the olden times, we've still got that health awareness. Slay! Come back when, when the spot is gone. <laughs> money, more money, see? Momoka! Okay, I spoke too soon. You can bribe this health official. The night doesn't end well, with Nozomi's <coughs> colleagues laying lifeless, some even wounded on their tatamis. <gasps> shows how barbaric men were and the pain women at the time had to endure. Hidemi treats Nozomi like a little sister. She takes care of her, dresses her, and makes her run an errand to Daisuke. On the way out, Nozomi bounces into Master Blythe, who's a regular at the brothel, and takes a liking to Nozomi. Dealing with the trauma of being harassed, Nozomi even starts smearing her face with dirt to look more unattractive. What's worse is that she returns to the brothel to find one of her colleagues dead because of Master Blythe. Sorry. The other prostitutes threaten to call the police. But Okasan decides to put the matter to bed for $500. 500 Apparently a discount was even given because the deceased wasn't a virgin. Blythe tells them Master Graham will make good on payment, so Nozomi is sent to fetch the money. But Hidemi tells Nozomi, tell Daisuke first. Next thing we know, Daisuke is donning a new fit, turning into a ninja. Okasan then enlists the help of a notorious gang, Sam Hui, to dispose of the body. Apparently, this cost more than the settlement, and being a girl down, Okasan threatens Nozomi to start working as a prostitute or else! Hidemi offers to help train the poor girl, but a frightened Nozomi decides to instead steal money from the brothel and make a run for it. A pissed Okasan finds out and hires the Samkhaokhoi gang to track her down. During her escape, Nozomi bumps into Tingling. She's the daughter of a wealthy plantation owning Chen family. Thankfully, she's kind and even helps hide her. The evil gang are suspicious and call their more eloquent boss Lo Se to pay the plantation a visit. Ting Ling thus disguises Nozomi in bougie and class. She plays the part perfectly and now has a flamboyant accent and expanded vocabulary. May I have some water please? I'm parched. But Lo Se's suspicions don't let up and tells his men to keep spying. Thankfully, Ting Ling doesn't ditch her friend and lets Nozomi stay. The serenity is short-lived after Master Graham pays the family a visit. Nozomi runs from the house and gets caught by the Samkhaokhoi gang. Nozomi is handed back to the brothel. The Okasan then decides to hold an auction for her to debut as a prostitute. Hidemi consoles Nozomi, getting her to come to terms with her situation, and also begins teaching her how to become an object of desire and to satisfy in unique ways like using this cucumber. Hidemi also tells Okasan to invest in a kimono for Nozomi so she can fetch a better price. Yep, she's definitely up scheming. Daisuke and Hidemi meet to reveal the real motive of having Nozomi clinch a high bidder. To possibly be able to get close to one of their targets for additional intelligence. Daisuke's charisma wins over Nozomi's trust easily. The day of the auction goes swimmingly, clinching a handsome bid of $400. We get a two-year time skip and we're back! Nozomi's turned into a full-on femme fatale. Confident in her looks and charm, even attempting to seduce Daisuke at one of their fittings. She's also risen to become one of the top in the brothel, now head honcho, and not even the Okasan can control her. Also, the secret missions continue. Daisuke wants Hidemi's help again, but she's like, get Nozomi to help bro. But he is reluctant. I heard that, says Nozomi, who barges into the room to plead her usefulness, but Daisuke dismisses her again. Days later, still salty about his decision, Nozomi steals the fabrics and decodes the message, discovering a secret meeting. Nozomi heads to the rendezvous, but finds Master Blythe, the murderer of a colleague. So, during sexy time, attempts to seek revenge. 
Blythe fights back, and he's about to deal a fatal blow to Nozomi. Mr. Ninja comes to the rescue and murders Master Blythe. After the incident, Daisuke reserves Nozomi's services for a week so she can recover from the traumatic incident and to discuss what Daisuke and Hidemi are up to. Daisuke tries to employ her to his team. After some thought, she accepts, deciding that she doesn't want a mundane life, she wants adventure. Apparently the death of colleagues is not enough. Come by my shop with Hidemi tomorrow for your first briefing. Master Blythe's disappearance is now in question. Master Graham sends Philippe, his subordinate, to investigate. Nozomi receives her first mission, to get Philippe a rank promotion. Coincidentally, he was the highest bidder at her auction. Nozomi executes the mission with the help of Hidemi. On one night of Philippe's visit, they plant a suspicious piece of Japanese intel disguised as an origami in plain sight that Philippe finds, to which he brings back to Master Graham gaining favour with him for his proactiveness. The mission is a success and he is promoted to captain! Woo! Would you like a celebration that you never forget? Mm, yes, please. <laughs> Nozomi is advancing well in her role as a spy. Her interactions with Philippe have now escalated to role-playing. Philippe invites her to his office, dressed up as a British officer, and after she's tired him out, takes pictures of his lewd body in his boss's office. Oh, good luck. Master Blythe's body suddenly surfaces by the shores. Graham tries to keep the news under wraps and secretly launches an investigation. Daisuke activates Trap Card. He uses the photos Nozomi took to threaten Philippe to turning a blind eye on the investigation. Nozomi meets Philippe again, this time convincing him that she was forced into taking those photos and charms him into working with her to spy on Master Graham's schedule. Using Philippe's bad info, Graham visits the Samkapkoi gang to investigate if they are linked to Blythe's murder. Lose provides a counter-offer. If I settle for you, leave my bros and me alone. And now he's joined the hunt for the murderer. First order of business, he sends the gang to pay a visit to one of Blythe's favourite spots, Sakura Number 3. They find an officer jacket that might be Blythe's near Hidemi's quarters. They interrogate her, but get nothing. Hidemi informs Daisuke of Lose's visits. Daisuke begins putting measures in place, paying Okasan to keep Philippe's visits a secret, and also hints at buying Nozomi from the Okasan. Daisuke then tells Philippe that spying on Master Graham was just the tip of the iceberg. Now it's time to infiltrate the letters directly coming from England. While all the poo poo's going down, Hidemi is having a peaceful, wholesome reunion with a daughter who's otherwise usually with her foster parents. But no! No one's spared from the poo poo! The Samhap Kui gang appears! And we'll leave it there and pick it up in part 2 of The Last Madame, Sisters of the Night TLDW. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.